you better get ready for some deep and sketchy holes that are both human-made and not. But one thing's for sure, they're all insanely deep. From mines still in operation and not, to natural, earth-formed, massive underwater caves and trenches, this list is dedicated to the frighteningly immense, the voids, leading places not usually visited, the scariest, deepest holes on Earth. Number 10. Hambach Surface Mine Tagbau Hambach, also known as the Hambach Surface Mine, is a gigantic open-pit coal mine that's found in Elsdorf and Niederzier, North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany. The land on which the mine sits was once the ancient Hambach Forest, but was then purchased in 1978 by RWE, who cut down most of it to build the mine. As of right now, there's only 10% of the forest remaining, and RWE plans to get rid of the rest of it sometime between 2018 and 2020. Anyway, the mine operation began in 1978 and is now the deepest human-made point on the surface surface of the earth, with the bottom of the pit sitting at 981 feet below sea level. The mine is a lignite mine, and around 40 million tons of the soft brown coal is produced annually. Unsurprisingly, RWE has created a lot of controversy throughout the years and continues until today. Number 9. Mponeng Gold Mine what you see in this picture is just the beginning of a super deep gold mine that is found in South Africa and extends to depths of over 2.5 miles below the surface of the Earth. Mponeng is widely considered to be one of the more substantial gold mines on the entire planet. Want an idea of just how deep the pit diagrammed here really is? To get from the Earth's surface to the bottom of the mine, you have to ride an elevator for over an hour, and then there's the trip back up. Every day, more than 5,400 metric tons of rock are excavated from the mine, and they only need to pull 10 grams of gold per ton excavated to keep making a profit, as gold is obviously pretty valuable. There are at least two gold reefs inside the mine, the deepest of which measures a meter thick. It sounds and looks like a pretty crazy mine, as you can see in this picture, and would be awesome to visit, but we don't think we'll be turning in an application for employment anytime soon. Number 8. Wooding Dean Well this well, located in Woodingdean, East Sussex, England, sounds like it was a big old pain to dig considering it was done in the 1800s when they didn't have the modern machinery we have today. Woodingdean, pictured here, is 1,285 feet deep, and that's pretty incredible considering it was done by hand, and this well in England holds the record for the deepest well dug by hand on Earth. Construction of it ended on March 16, 1862, and it was built to provide close water for a workhouse. It took four whole years for a labor force that included lots of Brighton poppers to break through and finally find water, all without the aid of modern tools. The determination here is incredible, and this hand dug well certainly earned its way onto this list. Number 7. Cola Super Deep Borehole of course, this would be a Russian project, because, you know, why not? Russians always do crazy big and crazy things. The hole you see in this picture is the result of a project by the Soviet Union in which they drilled the super-deep borehole in the name of science on the Kola Peninsula. The project planned to dig as far and as deep as possible into the crust of the Earth, and the drilling commenced on May 24, 1970. There was a central hole seen in this picture drilled out, and then boreholes were drilled by branching from that. SG-3, the deepest of the boreholes, reached a depth of 40,230 feet, which remains the deepest artificial point on the planet, and it's only 9 inches wide. It was once hoped to reach 49,000 feet deep, but unexpectedly high temperatures at the 40,000-foot depth made drilling farther unfeasible, and work on the hole you see in this picture was stopped in 1992. Number 6. Lake Asal this crazy big crater lake is found in central western Djibouti, and its name literally translates to Honey Lake. It is found at the top of the Great Rift Valley, about 75-ish miles west of Djibouti City, at the western end of the Gulf of Tajura. It's classified as a saline lake and sits in the Afar Triangle, 509 feet below sea level, making it the third lowest point on the planet, following the Dead Sea and the Sea of Galilee. And it's the lowest point on land in all of Africa. The salinity levels of the water in the lake is approximately 10 times higher than the sea, which, following only Don Juan Pond, makes it the most saline in the world. Lake Asal is also the largest salt reserve in the world, and although it's considered a national treasure, the salt has been exploited and has begun to steer toward making a negative in impact on the environment. It has been proposed to make the Lake Asal Zone a UNESCO World Heritage Site by the Djibouti government. Number 5. Berkeley Pit The Berkeley Pit was formerly an open-pit copper mine nestled snugly in Butte, Montana, and is just about a half mile wide and one mile long. The mine first opened in 1955 and was operated first by Anaconda Copper and then Arco, who ran it until it was closed in 1982 on Earth Day. A significant problem then reared its ugly head. 
When the mine was closed, the water pumps in the Kelly Mine, a mine nearby, were turned off, and groundwater from aquifers nearby began to fill the pit at a rate of about a foot a month. Now, the real problem with this is that the water isn't clean. Pure water, with dissolved oxygen, allows sulfide and pyrite minerals that are found in the wall rocks and ore to decay away, which releases acid. The water is so polluted now by dissolved heavy metals that frequently materials are mined straight from the water. It's estimated that around 2020, the water level in the pit will reach the natural water table and will then reverse flow into the groundwater in the surrounding area, which would pollute Silver Bow Creek, which is where the Clark Fork River begins. Number 4. Bingham Canyon Mine this mine, which is known by locals as the Kennecott Copper Mine, is an open pit mine in the Oakier Mountains southwest of Salt Lake City, Utah. It is said that this mine has produced more copper than any other in history, and it is the most significant human-made excavation in the entire world. Kennecott Utah Copper Corporation is who operates the mine, thus why it's known by that to locals, and it has been in operation since 1906. The pit created from this mining operation is over two and a half miles wide, 0.6 miles deep, and covers 1,900 acres. In 1966, the mine was named a National Historic Landmark. On April 10, 2013, the mine experienced a landslide that was the most significant non-volcanic landslide in North American history. Between 65 and 70 million cubic meters of rock, dirt, and everything else went sliding and thundering down the side of the pit, but it was anticipated the day before, and mining operations were shut down at the time. Number 3. Great Blue Hole Do you want to learn about something that will probably make your skin crawl or tingle just a little? Well, listen up then. The Great Blue Hole is a massive submarine sinkhole that is found around 43 miles from Belize City in the mainland and sits right near the center of Lighthouse Reef. The hole itself almost looks like a perfect circle and is 1,043 feet across, 407 feet deep, and was formed in stages at 15,000, 60,000, 66,000, and 153,000 years ago. As the ocean level rose, the cave flooded and now lies entirely flooded underwater and looks a little more like some kind of ocean nightmare than a cave. It's huge with scuba divers, and many flock to dive in the super clear waters and swim amidst a bunch of species of fish and sharks, although the sharks are not regularly sighted. Discovery Channel gave the Great Blue Hole the number one spot on its list of the 10 most amazing places on Earth, which is strange because this diving photo looks like it's straight out of the Blair Mermaid Project. Number 2. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory this super crazy, entirely too deep, extremely scary hole is located in the Antarctic, way down right near the South Pole. The observatory, which is more often referred to as simply Ice Cube, is a neutrino observatory, and that's what this here hole is, where they're attempting to observe said neutrinos. Digital Optical Modules DOMs, are sensors that are set to work on strings that hold 60 modules and drop down between 1,450 and 2,400 meters. It was only possible to work on the ice cube from November to February, the Antarctic Austral Summer, because the permanent sunlight allowed for drilling 24-7, which began in 2005. The cost of the project was $279 million and was funded through a bunch of research institutions and universities around the world, but the University of Wisconsin-Madison developed and supervised the project. The hole itself was created by melting the ice using a hot water drill, and in November of 2013, just three years after its December 2010 opening, it was announced the 28 different neutrinos had been detected at Ice Cube that more than likely came from outside our solar system. The hole pictured here is as deep as deep gets, really, but not because there are deeper on this list. But this is a fine example of an extremely deep hole created by humans. Number 1. Mariana Trench well, 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 we've finally reached the scariest, deepest spot on this list, and it definitely does not disappoint. This place goes by both the Mariana and the Mariana's Trench, and it is the deepest part of our world's oceans. It can be found in the Western Pacific Ocean, around 124 miles from the Mariana Islands. The trench itself is crescent-shaped and measures in at about 1,580 miles long and, on average, 43 miles wide. The deepest that we know that it goes is 36,070 feet deep in a small section of Challenger Deep, a valley at the trench's southern end pictured here. To put it this way, if you placed Mount Everest's base on the floor here, you'd still have to swim more than a mile to reach the surface after summiting the mountain. The trench has only been descended four times, the first coming in 1960, and the latest was made on March 26, 2012, by famed director James Cameron in a vessel called Deep Sea Challenger. In 2016, a remote vehicle took a picture of a plastic bag, seen here at a depth of 35,775 feet. 
in one of the deepest parts of the trench, which goes to show that our failures still touch even the farthest place on Earth from humanity. Who else has chills? These mines and wells and pits and trenches were all too intense and deep for our brains to handle. But if you enjoyed this video, why don't you go ahead and give it a like, comment on it below, subscribe to the channel, and keep watching for excellent new content every day. Thank <laughs> you.